Tuesday. Welcome to the show. And welcome to Sachi Namora, who's in with us today. First time I've seen you this year. Yes, that's well, right. Thank you very much for having me. you here. And she's got a brand new book, and we're going to talk about that in a tick or two. It's amazing. It's not just a cookbook. It's kind of like a history of your life. Yes, and you will see. You will hear. Um, see me all about it. Amazing photos and all sorts of good bits and pieces today. And she's making miso warner brownie. So that's kind of like a savoury and a sweet thing all in all one. All in one kind of dish. Looking forward to it. We have a big show for you today. We're chatting to TV star Erin Simpson in a tick or two about a disease that affects over 600,000 Kiwis. She's in this morning. Award-winning UK comedian Tom Rigglesworth is wriggling onto our couch. Have we chat with him later on? Got your flu jab yet? Dr John has the latest on why you should. And I will be going under the needle this morning. <laughs> the circus is in town as well. We've got juggling like you've never seen before. Cool. Circus, circus. Uh, all that. Plus, intrepid explorer Matt Gibb, yes, our Matty, uh, revealing golden TV moments that put Kiwi towns on the map. We're chatting to him as well. Crikey, how are we going to fit all of that into an hour? I, I don't know. know. Best we kick it off now with your miso walnut brownie? brownie? Yeah. Yay. Yes. Okay. Shall I shall I start making them? Go. Okay. Start All right. Good thing. It's very simple though. This one is the um, uh, very few ingredients. So start from the sugar. Mm -hmm. I always use a brown sugar. Yeah. It's just a taste bitter to me when slightly I make this one. Slightly less processed, I suppose, than yeah, the white stuff. Slightly, slightly. <laughs> and then with the butter, so it's now nice and softened. So I just yeah. need to mix this one first mm -hmm. until make it into the nice you pasty mix, like. Okay. And, and, but at the same time as you mix, tell me about your book. It's your first book. It's called Suchi's Kitchen. Yes. It's, it's my dream book. Is it? Oh, how long has it been in the making? Oh, long, long time. Yeah. Eight well, eight months yeah. in my oh, kitchen. It's not that bad in the world of books, is it? But, but, but I was working on in my kitchen with my, um, you know, full time staff. Two of my staff members working with me on the book as on well. The book as well. Oh, okay. so, so multiply that by three. Yeah. Oh yes, a long, long, years. long time. <laughs> but in it is um, is some beautiful recipes. They're all like uh, traditional Japanese recipes, or a bit of everything. Bit of everything. It's a traditional Japanese recipe, but I made it to um, very simple for people to follow, yeah. so they don't get scared or frightened by. Oh my gosh. Because sometimes the ingredients, it? if you're not used to working with them, you might not have, or you might just think, oh gosh, I don't even know where to get that from. Yes. So um, I've just got all the list of the ingredients. Yep. that you need to get an explanation of the what they are yep. and uh, with the pictures so when you go into the shop and supermarket you will just need to find the um, ingredients cool. and I was looking here before and I'm just gonna try and find it again your wedding photo oh, oh. they're amazing they're amazing you were saying how you, you're not allowed to smile in the traditional shot in the formal shot here yes, they are. Because, because I was wearing uh, traditional Japanese um, kimonos if people can see there we go we might better get close up you can see me uh, yes oh my god <laughs> Yeah, not allowed to, not allowed to smile. And then, so you start in the white one. Yes. In the, in the white sort of outfit. On the top. You gradually, and you wear all four in the one day. Yes, all four in one day. Yeah. It's almost like within the four hours. That's really, oh, wow. <laughs> Which is I nothing know. compared to the Mumbai wedding that you've just been to when it's a, it's a, it was a five day wedding. It was. Um, I was lucky that my husband and I got invited to go to Mumbai. It was the first time for us to go into India. And then um, I, we just came back about oh. two weeks ago. Oh. And out of amazing. ten days, a five days wedding. Five days of the ten days was the wedding. It was um, amazing. Wow, I bet it was. I'd like to know more about that in a minute. But first, tell me what you're doing. So you've got okay, so, your sugar. Yes, butter and sugar, nice and pasty, like that, just like this, yeah. nice and soft. I'm just mixing a miso mm -hmm. with a yogurt. So that when you bite um, the piece of the um, brownie, you yeah. don't get the you know the all the chunkiness oh, of okay, the miso. Okay. So I just yeah, need to yeah. spread this one out. Is this something that you kind of created, put your own twist on? Or this is a very is original. You won't be able to find this, um, the miso warner brownie in Japan. You can't. <laughs> no, because you've created it. I created it, yes, here in no. New Zealand. <laughs> Nothing traditional about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought that, you know, it's um, um, kiwi. I thought the kiwi loves eating some sweets. Yeah. And then they're good at eating sweets. So mm. I thought that I'll. Yeah, good at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought that I wanted to introduce some of the ingredients today. This one is a miso yeah. into the kiwi lifestyle. So I just Combine these two together and then just give you a bit of the taste of Japanese cuisine. Get us hooked. Yes. Yeah. Wanting more. Wanting more. Mm -hmm. This was a hit. I made it the other day when I bought, um, launched the book. Yeah. It was first thing that it just, just went, disappeared. Really? So just like this. Okay. Mix it together and then I put it into this mix. Very, very simple. Mm -hmm. There you go. And mix this all together. There you go. Are you more of a sweet girl or a savoury? Savoury. Are you? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
What's your favourite recipe in the book? Ooh, that's a hard question. Mm, it's like choosing your favourite child. Say, um, yeah, exactly. Um, if it's a winter, like a winter coming up, so I will go for hot pot. Yeah. Um, which is what? Which is a miso hot pot, you know, that you cook everything in a clay pot. Uh -huh. You make a broth and then you basically chuck every single different ingredients into the pot and then, like, you just eat it around like the... an Asta thing, yes, all in one go. All nice in one go. Nice and easy, feed a lot of people. That's what yeah. you need. Okay, nice and mixed. What you need is a crushed walnuts. Yeah. So about a um, three quarter of the crushed walnuts <clears throat> goes inside. So the five day the five day wedding. Yes. What did it consist of? What day did they actually get married? Um, the actual um, traditional wedding. It was actually we missed it. Oh. <laughs> we arrived on the next day. day. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, right. The same day that I arrived, that was the traditional wedding okay. day, that traditional Muslim wedding. Yeah. And then when I got there, we did um, henna, which was the, you know, the... Yeah, 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 the tattoo. Yeah, like tattoo the, like yes, that, yes. yeah. It stayed on my hand for more than a week. Wow. And then... And the all the guests have that? All, all the, the women? All the women, yes, yeah. Yeah. the men. Yeah. Um, so we did that on one day and then basically ate and danced. For the rest of it. Oh, How wonderful. Like, amazing. Oh, gosh, I bet in the music. Oh, music, so cool. colour, yeah. spices, mm. food, oh. smell, people, it's unbelievable. So you have to go with five different outfits. Like you'd have to have a different thing every day, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, basically five different outfits. It's yeah. a great reason to go on and do some <laughs> shopping. <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband didn't enjoy that one though, but um, uh, I enjoyed the shopping part with my did. friends. And yeah. What you need to do. So this is the um, self-raising flour. So I noticed you didn't really measure that. Um, it's about, of... um, I already measure, pre measure. Oh, you're going to put the whole lot in? Because you don't, don't put that much flour in on a brownie, do you? Mm, not really, but for this one, yes. Okay. So a cup and a quarter. Cup and okay. Quarter. Yep. All right. That's all you need to have. And mix it all together. Bits by bits. There mm -hmm. you go. So it must uh, have a sort of a caramelly uh, taste with the brown sugar, eh? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And then you will see, you will find a slight hint of the saltiness coming through. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know, it's the miso wana brownie, and oh. you never guess that yeah. what's in it. And we tested it in the in the kitchen. You'd never know. Never know. Really? No. But if you like, you know, chocolatey taste. Yeah. And then what you can do is instead of using a cup and a quarter of the you know self raising flour, mm -hmm. you can replace a quarter cup with the um, cocoa okay. powder. Okay, cool. And it become a chocolatey taste. Yes. Uh huh. The rest of it stay the same. So mix all up. Mix all up. There you go. Become a nice and good pasty like. You and go. you were just saying to me that you turned four. <laughs> today? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. That would be my kitchen. kitchen. Yes. yes. I wish I'm four, but. Um, <laughs> no. You've been in, in New Zealand for how long? Um, gosh, is that 17 years? 17 years here. 17 wow. years here. So 18 years in Japan and yeah. 17 years in New Zealand. So yeah, almost 50, half and 50. a half. 50 50 yeah. coming next year, very shortly. There you go. Nice and soft, nice and soft. Would you mind passing that? You want to put this in? Yes. Okay. I mix it up. Oh, there you go. you got less than a minute to get it in there. Oh, okay. All right. No problem at all. <laughs> so mix pressure. all this. Bit pressure, bit pressure. Mix it all in just like this. Seems like it's not going to mix together, but as you mix it well, it will come together. Yeah. Okay. So whilst you mix it all together, Shall I skip the process? Yeah, B whack it in. Whack um, it in. Tell me, how long does it take in the oven? Oh, um, 150 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, Bang so on, a, 20 quite minutes. Quite a low oven. Yep. Yes, and then that's all you need to do. And actually, I baked this morning one. You did? You. I did. Do you want to show us the actual... We, look, we can do that in the break. Flag that. Yeah, OK. We, can, we whack it in there and, and straighten the oven. There you Let's go. Let's have a look at it's the... It's nice and warm. Still nice and warm. Wow. So we just... Is. And did you you scattered some, um, some actual walnuts, walnuts on the yes, top? Yes, yes. You Divine. Let me just Looks real good. Out. Thank you so much. We will, we will slice that for morning tea and feed the crew. Look at them. Yes. Rolling all there of them. Go. Looks amazing and it feels hot too. Nice. Yay. Thank you, Sachi. So good to see you. Good to well see done you. with the book. Hope it goes really well. Thank you very much. Cool. Sachi's Kitchen is what it's called. MasterChef New Zealand runner up. Jamie is in the kitchen tomorrow. We will get her take on that nail biting finale that was Sunday night. Coming up, do you really need a flu shot? Dr. John has scary facts after this.